okay, I'm gonna show you how to import photos into Clo so that you can take pictures of paper patterns or take pictures of sewn garments and import those photos into Clo so that you can trace them into pattern pieces and then clean up the patterns, true them up and sew them together and voila, work on a new pattern. So to get started, I do actually recommend opening up an avatar. So um, I'm gonna switch to my view to see both windows and I'm gonna double click avatar. I'm gonna double click whichever avatar I want. Today I chose female two and I'm just gonna pick the first one. I'm really only importing the avatar right now so that I get the shadow on the 2D window. So I just have a rough idea of how big some of my pattern pieces are gonna be. That's all I need. So I'm gonna go back just to the 2D window by clicking this bottom right hand corner little square that says 2D. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Okay, so I know when I take photos with my phone, they tend to be really high resolution and super big. So I know I'm gonna to have to resize them and make them smaller. Um, so to get started, I'll start by making a fabric swatch that is pretty big, that can handle that large photo. So I'm gonna click right here. You can click the letter um, S for the rectangle shortcut. And I'm just gonna click and drag a really big square. So this is why I liked having the avatar there. So I have some idea of how big I'm making this square. I guess I could have also just clicked one time and typed in some specific measurements, maybe about like 30 to 40 inches. Okay, but anyways, here we go. I have that. Now I'm going to import the photos that I already took. Now, just a reminder, when I took those photos, I did have a ruler laying down on each pattern piece, and I was sure not to tilt my camera. I wanted to make sure my camera was parallel to the floor and to my pattern piece, um, not at some weird angle. Um, okay, here we go. So the tool you're gonna be using is this little t-shirt tool. This is going to import your image. You'll just click it one time to import the image and then it'll automatically switch to the edit tool. See how there's a t-shirt with a little white arrow? It'll just switch to that automatically and that's what you're going to be using mostly. So I'll start by just clicking it and it's going to pop up a window to go find my file. So you want to make sure you're organized and you know where these photos are. Maybe you name them. Okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and import pattern. I called it P1, so I'll say open. And then I'm just gonna click in the middle of my pattern. Okay, so it looks like my photo is 56 inches by 42, so it's very large. I'll say okay. Great, here it is. Um, I wanna rotate it, so there isn't like a little rotate button like normal, so instead I'm just gonna right click, since it is selected, I can right click, and I'll say rotate counter I guess, uh, I think I want clockwise, 90 degrees. Uh, nope, I wanted counterclockwise. Okay, I'll just hit rotate again, 90 degrees, and rotate one more, 90 degrees. Okay, we're in business. Okay, so now I do have my ruler. How do I know if it's the right size? There are guides you can use in clothes, more than one way to do it. You can go up to display, environment, show ruler if you like. Um, and then to get it in inches, you can double click it. Mm, I guess you have to be on your selection tool here. Click, click, or maybe you right click it. <laughs> and then it says inch, you can change it to inch. From there, I can pull out a ruler that says 70. Oh gosh, let me zoom in. Where'd my guide go? Okay, and then I can pull out another one at 69. And then I know that these two guides are, you know, one inch apart. Um, that's one way to do it and then to help you resize. Another way is I do like to just draw an internal rectangle and I'll click one time and just type in one inch by one inch and say okay. And then I'll zoom in. I'll make sure I'm on the letter A tool and I can move. So it looks like this is definitely way too big. So now I'm gonna go back to that edit graphic tool. There it is, the t-shirt with a little arrow. I'm gonna click my graphic and I'm gonna look for the resize button. It looks like I'm zoomed in too far right now. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there it is. You see, it's kind of hard to find, honestly. So I'm just gonna eyeball kind of a lot. <laughs> okay, and now I'm gonna zoom back in. I'm gonna hit the letter A. I'm gonna find, there's my internal box. Maybe I'll bring it down closer to where that resize thing was. Oh gosh, it's still huge. So I need to go back to this tool. I wish I knew the keyboard shortcut, but I don't. So I just move my mouse. 
click and drag to make it smaller. I'm going to hit the letter A so that I can see my internal box. We're getting closer. I can probably zoom in a little bit now. Go back to my t-shirt. It's still really big. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Hit the letter A. There is my box. I still think it's too big. I'm also going to go ahead and rotate my box so that it kind of matches the same angle as my ruler. Okay, back to that t-shirt edit tool. Click the pattern. My little circle comes up. I'm going to make it smaller again. Hit the letter A. Let's see how we're doing. Okay, I think that's probably good. Cool, so I would say this guy is resized. And, um, you know, and I'm ready to go ahead and trace it. So now what I could do is use my edit tool. Maybe I just scoot it over here and I'm ready to go ahead and import another pattern. So now I can go ahead and go back to now maybe P pattern number two. Click um, in the middle again of the artboard, say okay, and do the same thing. So um, again, I would go ahead and right click to rotate this guy, Hit clockwise 90. Ooh, I clicked the artboard. Right click again, rotate clockwise 90. Okay, cool. And go ahead and move him. And we do need to rescale. I'm going to hit the letter A so I can find my little square. Probably get it close to um, where the little resize tool is. Go back to the t-shirt uh, graphic resize thing and do the exact same thing. Hit the letter A. Come in, zoom in. Okay, yep, I'm still much too big. Go back to the t-shirt guy. Uh, gotta find, there it is, I see. Sometimes it's just hard for me to see where that resize tool is. Make it smaller. Go back to the letter A. Let's see, how are we doing? Did I get it or did I make it too? Maybe I made it a little too small. So go back to the t-shirt resize, click it. This time I'm gonna make it a little bigger. Okay, hit the letter A so I can find my internal box I made. I'm zooming in, let's see here. Letter A. I think it's a hair too big. Maybe I need to rotate this guy a little bit. Okay, hit my edit graphic. I think I'm going to make it just a little bigger. Okay, letter A. Okay, that's great. That looks really good. And I know after I trace all these pattern pieces, I'm going to have to true them up as well. Um, so. So it's, you know, I want it to be as close as possible, but it's not the end of the world if it's a little bit off because I will go fix my patterns and true it up. So now I can use the edit graphic tool, select this picture, and maybe just go ahead and put it to the side. And I can go ahead and import yet another one, get all my pictures on my fabric and get them ready so then I can actually start tracing them and turning them into pattern pieces. Um, but I'm gonna let you take it from here and um, reach out if you guys have any questions.